our program. So uh, my apologies. Please, brother, can you state the last question? And may I ask the other uh, brothers and sisters to take their seats for the close of the program, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Adil Ahmed. I'm a 16-year-old student doing my GCSEs. Um, and my question regards uh, Dr. Naik's statement previously about saying Merry Christmas to a non-Muslim um, makes us somehow submit the fact that, well, the idea that uh, Christ was the Son of God and it makes us one of them. Now, that sort of shocked me in a sense that um, surely Allah uh, in his uh, almightiness would know that my intention to saying to someone Merry Christmas is, as you said, just to improve relations. Now, the thing is that most people, uh, at least of my generation, the people who I come in contact with, don't actually celebrate Christmas uh, because they uh, celebrate Christ's birth, but actually it's a commercial thing to get the latest PS2 or whatever it is. Um, so. Could you just please expand on that? Because I'm sort of confused how saying Merry Christmas could uh, somehow um, bring blasphemy. The brother asked a question that he wants to wish Merry Christmas to his friend so that he can build relationships. So tomorrow he'll ask me the question, why can't I have a peg of alcohol to build relationship? Why not? Why? What's wrong? Why can't I eat some pork with them? Why can't I go to church and worship Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? See, you don't have to do anything haram for doing dawa. For reaching the goals, you cannot use wrong means, brother. What is haram for them is haram for you also. When you are wishing Merry Christmas to them, you are agreeing that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on the 25th of December, and you are agreeing that he is the begotten son of God, which is shirk. Why it is wrong? Because the Christians, they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is the begotten son of God. Now, irrespective of whether he may be a practicing Christian or not, they celebrate because it's the birthday. Why don't they celebrate any other day? So if you tell your Christian friend, okay, forget, if you don't believe in that, let's celebrate instead of 25th of December, let's celebrate on the 10th of October. Will they agree? They'll say no. But that does not mean don't do that. Why do that on Christmas? I ask them that this is the Christmas season. Why is it Christmas? So they tell me, oh, it's Christmas because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on 25th of December. Who is this Jesus, peace be upon him? Oh, Jesus is the begotten son of God. Then I tell him that can you prove to me from one unequivocal statement from the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that he's God of Israel, worship me. I do dawah. Why do you have to use wrong means for doing dawah? You ask the question, is saying Merry Christmas wrong means? I'm telling you it is wrong. Okay. 100% wrong according to me. If you don't know what Christmas is celebrated for, like by mistake, if you don't know it is alcohol and you think it is Pepsi and you have it, Allah may forgive you. So if you don't know what is Christmas standing for being in UK, do you know what Christmas stands for? Well, as of now... Why have you come from somewhere outside? Well, uh, as of now, I think it stands for a do commercial... You know what? Do I you know I think it stands for a commercial business. That's what it stands Sorry? for. It stands for a commercial business, a, a place where people give each other presents. No, no, commercial. What is the excuse? No, don't... It's don't a holiday. Push. I'm asking the question, do you know what is the excuse for commercial business? What is the excuse? Why yeah. do they celebrate Christmas? For what? Because it's the birth of Christ. Right, finish. You know about it? And do they consider Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, as the son of God, begotten son? Do you know that? Yeah, I know that. If but you I... know that, and then if you wish Merry Christmas, it is haram. If you didn't know, if you're coming from Timbuktu, If you're coming from Timbuktu and you did not know and in ignorance, if you wish, Allah may forgive you. If you don't know that that is alcohol, if you think it is Pepsi and you drink it, Allah may forgive you. But if you know it and you think you're building relationship, you know what you're doing? You're building a place in the Jahannam. So therefore, brother, for reaching any good means, you never have to adopt wrong means. You have to go as the guidance of the Quran and the Sunnah. Hope that answers the question. Wa akhir dawan, alhamdulillah,